I don't know about you, but personally, I am exhausted, guys. I am so, 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 so tired. I cannot even express in words how tired I am. It's December 2023, and I cannot believe that I'm once again at the end of another year. And I am completely just over it. The worst part is that we probably have to do this for the next 50 or so years. And I wish I could just clock out now because if this is how it's always going to be, then count me out, Pookie. But before we even go further, welcome to my podcast. Welcome to the Sun House, guys. I have created the space for you for me, for people like us, um, relax, grab a little drinkity drink and let's have a chat, baby. Let's have a session. Like let's have a little catch up and let's talk about how exhausted you are and how what you're going through right now is called end of year fatigue. It's something that everyone is going through, but before we actually get into it, I would suggest that before you actually listen to this episode, listen to Janae Echo's Born Tired. It speaks to the themes that we're going to be talking about. It's also the song that's holding me back from falling to my knees in public and just screaming, like, (laughs) just the tule is really, like, because that's where I'm at right now. But I'm excited to have you guys here. This has been a long time goal for myself, for my family, for my friends, for the strangers I've met all over (laughs) and had the most interesting discussions with, I can at least say that out of this personally terrible taxing year, I have achieved this one thing with this podcast. End of year fatigue is a real thing. The hardest part of any race is always towards the finish line. So they say, I wouldn't, I wouldn't know personally. I do not run races. Even the Bible says in Proverbs 28, the wicked run when no one is chasing them. So if Jesus said, no, baby, I'm not going to say yes. But I think this saying, this, this race visualizer helps us understand what we're feeling right now. I have spoken to so many people, people in management, people of different ages, races, uh, my friends, my lecturers, my family, and everyone is just saying the same thing. We're tired. It's harder to wake up early. It's harder to get this that things done. Like you're so stressed about what you haven't finished and what you still need to do. I personally, that's where I'm at right now. I'm so stressed about all the things that I'd set out to do at the beginning of this year that I did not achieve. I feel guilty. I feel ashamed. And that's kind of why I started this podcast randomly today. At the beginning of this year, 2023, one of my New Year's goals was to start a podcast See, back then, I was young, full of life. I was naive. (laughs) Now I'm an old, bitter woman. I am witnessing mass genocide in 2023 in the backdrop of the South African economy collapsing. Guys, I don't want to lie. Like, side note, one of the biggest and most harshest realizations I've had this year is that I'm literally just a black girl in a third world country. so ghetto like so sad like really 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 sad and you know amongst all of this i'm still expected to operate like a normal human being in a capitalist society whereas i'm just a little girl but everyone wants me to show up everyone wants me to be fresh my job my boss wants me to be the best i can be in the office my family and friends want me to be present and me to be happy and laugh and perform and pretend like everything is okay and the facade is just coming down at this point because there is no energy to maintain it but by recording this episode 
I at least have like something I can take off my New Year's resolution list. But okay, I did this. And I don't care that it's not perfect. And it's what I initially envisioned. I'm in a place where I just want to finish this year alive and be grateful for that. I put aside my fear of failure, my fear of being perceived, my fear of looking stupid and my fear of not being enough or perfect enough for the ridiculous standards, for the ridiculous and unachievable standards the society has put on us. So guys, whatever it is, go back to that New Year's list, look back at it, but like not from a place of shame or a place of guilt or a place of, oh my God, I get me to get this done. But like, go back, look at it, find something that you think I can achieve this before the end of the year. I promise you, like, it'll feel so good when you do it. And that's what I want. I just want to feel good about myself. I want to be happy. And the first step towards that is trying, you know, beginning something new. And I know we're talking about end of year fatigue, but I also want to talk about new beginnings, fresh beginnings in my life, in your life, even though this is, you know, December is always a time to also say goodbye, um, close a few chapters and reflect on the year. But it's also a symbol of new beginnings, like in a month's time, we're going to be in a new year and new things are going to be on our door and it's time for us to get to a place. I'm in a place where I'm just preparing for that. But at the end of the day, we're still living in a world of war, economic instability, our own personal mistakes and disappointments and fears and uncertainty of the future. That relationship that didn't work out the way that we thought. <laughs> that job or that financial decision that didn't work out maybe school wasn't that good maybe your health isn't the best and you, you were so sure that this year you're gonna lose so much weight i mean guys my goal at the beginning of the year was to lose 15 kilograms and you know now i have to lose 20 but in the lab, <laughs> And that's 2025's problem. Like, let's 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 just push it back there. Like 25, 2025, we'll deal with that. But we can all agree that this year has been insane. And if you don't agree, oh so cute. I'm so happy for you. Congratulations. So you know that mass delusion that we all go through? That mass psychosis of like, 2023 is my year and so forth. Like, it's so crazy. Like, we do it every year. And then every year we disappoint ourselves. Well, not always. I mean, 2022 was a good year for me. I achieved all my goals. <laughs> but I don't know what it was about this year. Something was off. Something was off. But I'm doing it again, guys. But it's going to be different to 2023. Like, it's going to be different. Here's the beautiful thing about like that whole delusion about that mentality. It's the perfect opportunity for reflection and renewal. Like you get a chance to sit back and take note of the highs and the lows of the year. What mistakes did I do? What part did I play in my sadness? What can I do better? Whether it's, you know, you were missing a few bills that you had to pay, neglecting your health, giving that loser a chance, um, and committing to doing better. You need to delete his number, Sissy. You know who you are. You know who you are. But as well as also taking note of all the good things that happened this year, I met the most amazing people, guys. I went on, like, the cutest little dates. I finally found the right shade of lipstick that like really suits my skin tone which is like a huge huge achievement for me as a dark skin black girl i just have to put it out there i started new hobbies i you know completed a milestone at work i i i you know gained a skill at school and amongst all the chaos and the end of year rush 
it's really important to take account for all the positive things that you experienced as well and being grateful and practicing gratitude for that gratitude that you were even here to witness you know beautiful moments guys south africa we won the rugby world cup excuse me winners only guys winners only so yeah i'm, I'm really grateful for that and i hope you are too i really want us to not really dwell on the fatigue and the disappointment but really to shift our focus to the exciting possibilities ahead. And like, how do we do that? First of all, bestie, you need to rest. <laughs> okay, Pookie, rest. You deserve to give yourself the gift of rest. Just take a moment to pause and rejuvenate and really appreciate the journey that you've been on. There've definitely been some little gems and good moments this year. And I remember I was celebrating my birthday earlier this year with my best friend and I was on her balcony and it was, you know, a standard gorgeous Cape Town sunset. And I was a little tipsy child and I was surrounded by my girlfriends, Taylor and Gemma, shout out to my queens. And I was standing there thinking, huh, maybe life is worth living. And I'm grateful for that moment. I'm grateful for that moment when I was feeling the sun on my skin and the bubbles that were like just tingling inside of me and the music that was playing. I'm grateful for that moment. So take note of that in your downtime. Like remember those little positive moments and let them just fill you up with light, you know. And as soon as you hit the reset button, catch up on some sleep, take a walk, Pookie, let's go outside. Let's feel the sun on our skin. And if you're in the Southern Hemisphere in South Africa, the weather is finally warm again, guys. Like we can just lie on the grass and drink some water and eat some fresh cold fruit. You know, we deserve all the rest and spoils. And when you're ready to get back to the real stuff and setting goals for the upcoming year, we can get back to that. But for now, like step one, please just take it slow, rest baby, rest. And whether your goals are personal or professional, think having clear objectives can bring a sense of purpose and direction. Remember how I said earlier that things are gonna be different this time that I had achieved all my goals in 2022, but in 2023, I didn't achieve my goals. Yeah, guys, I have a plan for my delusion in 2024 like instead of just like writing a list of like things i want to get done i'm going to break down each and every point um everything that i want to achieve into manageable steps like i'm going to help myself plan everything out now and set timelines to kind of help me even more than just you know putting points down I'm like okay I'm gonna do all this it's it's, it's just like I, I really need to be more realistic and more clear in terms of how I'm gonna achieve the goals that I want to achieve so maybe with less pressure as well and positive reinforcement I can have a more emotionally stable yeah and a more productive yeah I want to really be more gentle with myself because progress is not perfection. Progress is not perfection. It does not look beautiful, but I will go forward. That is my, that's just my goal. I want to go forward. I don't want to be perfect because I think to be perfect is to just be, you know, stagnant, you know, static and to, to be progressive is to move forward. It's it's continuous movement and that's where I really wanna be. Another thing I really wanna do is be intentional about positivity in my space. Yo, guys, I only want to be around people who inspire me and uplift me and people that I can talk to about my aspirations and my dreams and people who constantly support and encourage me and hold me accountable. Because next year, I want to have a strong enough support system to achieve my goals. And, you know, even outside of my goals, I want to have enough of a support system 
to overcome any challenges that I might face next year. And even more than that, I want to have a strong support system so I can just be happy, you know. Um, and I want to do the same for my support system. I want to pour into them and pour into their cups as much as they need. But I cannot do that from an empty cup. Like, I really need to pour into myself first so I can be, you know, a good and positive space for the people that I love as well. And maybe that's, you know, the key to dealing with all the challenges that are going to come next year because I've already made peace with that fact. Next year, it's going to be challenging again. You know, that's where the delusion ends, baby. That is where the delulu, that's where I draw the line. I'm not going to fantasize about 2024 being infinitely better like I did with this year. Yo, that was a major L. I don't know <laughs> I really don't know why I thought that like 2023 was just going to outplay 2022 so much. Like I really, wow. I'm so delusional, <laughs> but you know what? It is what it is. I don't want to dwell on it. Um, it was a major L, but here's to hoping guys. Eh. Finally, I want to embrace the unknown. New beginnings are going to come. Actually, let's manifest and let's say that together, guys. New beginnings are going to come. With new beginnings and change, uncertainty will come with challenges. Like I said earlier, I'm at a place and an age where I can break away from naivety that always leads me to disappointment. Next year is going to come and there are going to be challenges again, as they were this year. And maybe they're going to be harder. Maybe they're not. Maybe they're going to be challenges in just a different flavor. At the end of the day, I am prepared for the reality of them. And I want to look at them from a more positive eye, knowing that each challenge is going to bring an opportunity for growth and discovery. Because one thing about this year, guys, it was a terrible year, but I'm not the same person that I was at the beginning of this year. I grew, I am smarter, I am sharper, I am more confident. And those are not tangible things. It's not like, oh, I bought a car, oh, I got a degree. It's, 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 it's a completely different wavelength. And I hope that maybe you did not achieve your material goals, but that you can take note of who you are now and who you were at the beginning of the year. And, and there is a difference because I, I personally... <laughs> I feel it. And I don't think other people can see the girl that I've become and the things that I've achieved. My friends have said that they've noticed the difference in me and I'm glad that they're kind of like, you know, affirming it from an outside point of view. But I can feel it. And that's the most important thing. I'm not the same person. And life is life, baby. Um, taking each step forward is a chance to learn and evolve to create a brighter future. My beautiful sun babies, you are so strong and beautiful and capable. You deserve the amazing things that are coming towards you and you have the power to turn the page and start a new chapter beyond the exhaustion that you feel right now, you know. Embrace the fatigue Embrace the little of the fatigue, rest, and step into the stunning possibilities that I'm going to be manifesting for us. I want to leave you guys with like some affirmations to help you through this year and fatigue so that we can just see this year through and start strong. The first affirmation is, my worth is not defined by my to-do list. Let's say it again. My worth is not defined by my to-do list. Secondly, I can do anything I want, but I can't do everything I want. And that's okay. Together, I can do anything I want, but I can't do everything I want. And that's okay. And lastly, my well-being is my top priority. My well-being is my top 
priority. Take care of yourself, son, baby. I want to take care of myself. I want you to take care of yourself. I want you to be gentle with yourself, okay? Treat yourself the way that you wish everyone was treating you with gentleness, with kindness, with understanding. You know, sometimes our biggest critics are ourselves. And I'm also working on it. Like I'm working towards being nicer to me because it's what I deserve. And if I can't give myself that first, then how can I expect everyone around me to do that? Thank you for joining us at the Sun House Podcast. If you enjoyed today's episode, please do not forget to subscribe and share with your friends and on your social media. Tag me at Tandy Sunhouse. And until next time, my beautiful sun baby, take care of yourself, rest well. And here's to new beginnings.